Welcome to our first look at the Nauticam NA-S1H underwater housing in the Panasonic S1H camera. Both the housing and camera offer a variety of features to enhance any underwater filmmaker's experience. With improved control placement, the housing offers an excellent ergonomic experience by placing all of the essential controls for focus, exposure, and recording right at your fingertips. From the right handle, controls for autofocus, record triggering, ISO, and the command wheels are all easily accessible. From the left handle, controls for playback, zoom or manual focus, the electronic viewfinder and LCD toggle, and custom functions 1 and 2 are all easily accessible. Installing the camera is easy and the entire system can be assembled in minutes. Simply remove the rear of the housing, attach the camera tray to the S1H camera, place the assembled camera and tray back into the housing, lock the tray in place, and reattach the back of the housing. You only need to align the drive mode lever and all of the other camera controls are already pre-aligned for you. Port assembly and changing a lens and port combo is also made simple using Nauticam's patented port locking lever. This process is accessible through the front of the housing and can be accomplished in seconds. Simply remove the front port by releasing the port locking lever, detach the lens, attach the new lens, place the new port back on, and move the port lever back into the lock position. As for lens options, Nauticam provides ports for both the native L-mount lenses and Canon EF-mount lenses via the use of the Sigma MC21 adapter, giving you a large variety of lenses to choose from on everything from macro to wide angle. See the link below for a complete list of supported lenses and port combinations. You can also take advantage of Nauticam's SMC1 and SMC2 for super macro imaging, or Nauticam's wide angle conversion port for an incredibly versatile option for capturing wide, medium, and close up shots all during the same dive. See the links in the video description below for more information on these. Nauticam's moisture alarm electronics are included, along with a Nauticam vacuum valve so you can utilize the vacuum electronics system to verify you've assembled the entire kit properly and it's safe to dive before you enter the water. Several accessory mounting points are available for mounting additional ball mounts and there's quarter 20 threaded holes along the bottom for mounting a tripod. The housing includes an M28 bulkhead for attaching an external monitor such as the Ninja 5 or a small HD 502 Bright. The housing can also be set up in a variety of configurations depending on different shooting scenarios, such as a slim, compact profile for freediving, or a more built-out profile complete with a monitor, lights, and tripod attachments. The S1H is a mirrorless camera built to run a 24-megapixel full-frame 35mm sensor that features V-Log with up to 14 stops of dynamic range in-body image stabilization, along with full-frame and Super 35mm recording modes. When used with UHS-2 SD cards, the S1H is able to internally record at up to 5.9K at 30 frames per second, 4K DCI at 60 frames per second, and Full HD at 180 frames per second, with many of these options using a 10-bit 422 color sampling. Using the Atomos Ninja 5 and Nonicam NA Ninja 5 underwater housing, you can record externally to the monitor at 4K DCI at 60 frames per second, Full HD up to 60 frames per second. Both are available in either ProRes HQ or Avid DNX HR with 10 bit 422 color sampling. With a future update from Panasonic and Atomos that was recently announced for early 2020, You'll also be able to record externally at 5.9K at 30 frames per second and 4K DCI up to 60 frames per second, all available in ProRes RAW. And the ProRes files will save lots of time in post-production with faster render times and eliminating the need to transcode. 
stay tuned for more news on this. All of these features essentially offer more flexibility in post-production for adjustments to exposure, color, and composition. Here you can see a few examples of ungraded footage captured in 10-bit 422 ProRes from the camera Ninja 5, and another example of the same clip once it's been graded in post-production. Even overexposed footage, or footage captured in less than ideal water conditions can be easily fixed in editing software. Recording at 5.9K can be a great tool for composition options in post-production by being able to crop into the frame if you're planning to render out your final edit in a lower resolution, such as 4K or Full HD. Thanks to the high frame rate recording options, you have lots of creative flexibility for slow motion playback of cool behavior shots, and an excellent tool to help with camera shake when combined with the camera's built-in in-body image stabilization. Steady, smooth shots are easily achievable. The camera offers the option for recording in either full frame or super 35mm modes in a variety of resolutions. This can be particularly useful when you want the ability to punch in for a tighter frame on subjects without sacrificing video resolution. The S1H's low light sensitivity is impressive thanks to its dual native ISO technology. The very same found in the Vericam Cinema line, which enables the user to switch between native ISO settings of 640 and 4000 without increasing noise. This is a huge benefit particularly for underwater filmmakers recording in high frame rates or when using ambient light. Just like on a cinema camera, all of the buttons on the camera are completely assignable and can be custom key mapped to a large variety of camera controls that are most useful for the shooter. A camera's ability to handle manual white balance while filming underwater is a crucial feature for many underwater filmmakers, and the S1H handles this quite well. Not only does the camera accomplish this with a great deal of accuracy, but it can be performed in just two steps by using the manual white balance set capture to any of the custom function buttons on the camera. Simply press the custom function button, place your white reference within the square of the LCD, press the set button, and done. In addition, the camera offers four saved manual white balance profiles. All of this makes adjusting white balance for various depths and lighting conditions fast and easy. Overall, we're thoroughly impressed with the Nauticam NA-S1H underwater housing and the Panasonic S1H's performance, and this should be a strong consideration for any underwater filmmaker. For more information on this equipment, questions, or a customized quote, please contact our Reef Photo and Video staff. We're here to help.